the fate of the NFC all comes down to one final game. It's the NFC Championship game here. It's the Seahawks. It's the Packers. DK Metcalf, he has had a sensational season. 28 receiving touchdowns on the season in the regular season, and he has carried that over. Aaron Rodgers still chasing that elusive second Super Bowl ring. Aaron Jones, this Packers team has reloaded very nicely after the departure of Devontae Adams. And the question is, can this Seahawks defense corral the Packers offense in this game? They've done a very good job of shutting down offenses all season long. So many playoff opponents have basically felt the brunt of the Seahawks defense will be any different for the Packers in this one. And we are here, Packers week, and uh, not a lot to get to before we get into this game. Going to show this stuff and then get right into the game. Hope you like the intro a little bit here. So, hot opponent. I kind of wish we would have had more options here for this. This is an NFC Championship game. It doesn't feel like it from the media's perspective. They're asking us about their hot streak. It's the NFC Championship. Every If you're here, you're on a hot streak. You've won, at the very least, a game. So, uh, yeah, they give these little things. I don't know. Everyone gets plus 10, so everyone's just at where they already are. It seems kind of pointless. I don't know why that's in the game. So we have some upgrades here before we head into this game. Nate English going to get an upgrade. Uh, plus one throw power, plus one break sack, and plus two throw under pressure. So not up to 98 throw power. Marco Estes, he gets an upgrade here. And we're just going with the run stopper for him. Just to get that block shot rating up. That's such an important rating, I feel. Uh, for your defensive lineman. I think some people underrate. I think some people overrate power moves and finesse moves a little bit. So we're going to start off on offense first in this game. Out comes Nate English. 52 touchdowns to 20 interceptions on the season. Those interceptions are probably going to keep him from some awards. So first and 10 here. We try to Metcalf in. He just can't hold that one in. I believe that's Eric Stokes on the coverage. Now second and 10. English going to step back. Looks, throws this one right over the middle. Terrell Jones going to be tough time if you're trying to put linebackers on a guy like Terrell Jones. Just has too much speed. Here's a nice run play here. DK Metcalf getting some key blocks. And he is going to pick up the first down right there on that run. Now first and 10 again. Going to be another handoff here. Metcalf gets some good blocks. It's bounced around a little bit and gets brought down second and three. So the Seahawks coming up here. Run out of pistol formation right there. Quay Walker the initial sort of stop right there now a handoff here to Devontae Hunter he can't pick up anything fourth and two big stop for the Packers fourth and two they're going for it here Nate Angle is going to throw this one right to Metcalf Metcalf maybe could have ran with this one for a couple extra yards I would say maybe even possibly brought it in that safety over the top he sort of went the other way he bought into the play action so now English here going to throw this one to Courtney Rice Who's going to get brought down after picking up eight? So second and two. Going to be a handoff here. Kenneth Walker gets some nice blocks. Couldn't bounce it outside. Going to be brought down at the 16. So this drive, it's a sort of like business as usual for the Seahawks team. And this one's going to get intercepted. Rasul Douglas. Elliott can't bring him down, so it's going to be Kenneth Walker. That is the first interception in quite a while for Nate English sort of struggled with the interceptions early in the season. That's how you get to 20, but sort of really calmed it down. So Aaron Rodgers, another MVP-type campaign for him. Could he pick up MVP number five? I think he'd rather pick up ring number two. Here's Romeo Dobbs picking up the first down right there with a nice reception. So Rodgers steps back, looks, throws this one. Perfect timing route, and that's former Seahawk Tyler Lockett. He's moved on to better things here. Both teams won that trade, really. Lockett has filled in very nicely as he catches another ball right there. He's filled in very nicely for Green Bay. Third and two here. Rodgers throws this one. Just finds Aaron Jones. Read the defense as long as he could. And just checks it down to an open Aaron Jones underneath. Pressure just not getting there to Rodgers. Just a clean pocket. And not too many quarterbacks have been able to say that this year. Against the Seahawks defense as Christian Watson picks up eight yards. So now second and two. Two yards to go. In goes Aaron Jones for the touchdown. And we have not seen an offense do that to the Seahawks team in a long time this season. 
And the Packers, they just made it look surgical almost here. Just pinpoint precision by Rodgers and great running by Aaron Jones. And then English throwing this one up. Terrell Jones can't get that foot down. I don't think he did. But there's a penalty on the play here. They're going to call that contact. They're going to call that defensive pass interference. I question that call. Kind of looks like he just you know ran into him, but kind of baited the rest right here. So here's Kenneth Walker trying to get it outside. But Eric Stokes right there on the coverage. Second and six. English drops all the way back, and there's Preston Smith knocking that one down. So third and six. Here comes English running outside here. Looks, tries throwing this one to Noah Fan. If he would have just sort of stayed where he was, he probably could have caught that instead. Ends up dropping it. Fourth and six. Out comes the kicking unit. And that's two drives where the Seahawks teams probably should have, you know, been able to get seven, weren't able to do it. So first and ten, Rodgers is going to throw this one out to Aaron Jones, going to be brought down by Murphy Bunting and Jordan Brooks. But there's a penalty. It's going to be roughing the passer on this one. Marco Stess add on 15 yards to that. So now second and nine. Rodgers steps back. Clean pocket, just going to dump it off to Aaron Jones, and Aaron Jones picks up the first down. That should have been stopped. Instead, it's a first down. So here comes Aaron Jones again, running this one right up the middle, getting some key blocks right there, slicing through this Seahawks defense right now, who they just can't get any pressure on him. I mean, Rodgers is just standing back there all day to throw. Going to get Romeo Dobbs again right there. First and goal now. Rodgers looking. A little bit of pressure, just flips this one out to Aaron Jones. He's going to be down at the one. So... Second and goal, one yard to go, and that's a hand up to the fullback, and that one's going to go in. Touchdown, Packers. They extend the lead. And like I've said, you just haven't seen teams do this at the Seahawks for a very long time this season. You know, after the midway mark, they sort of just got things together defensively. So instead, now trailing here by 11, and that throw, that one wasn't very good. Packers defense playing some good coverage here. Lane English, he can show he can flip it out right to the running back as well. Kenneth Walker picks up a few yards. Third and three. Come up, they go quick hurry up. English tries drawing him off sides. It's going to be handoff here to Will Disley. Kenneth Walker, that looks like a first down. Looks like he had forward progress, but they're going to say no. They're going to say fourth and one. And they challenge the call here, trying to maybe say, hey, look, he had forward progress and was stopped. That's what happened when he got. They're on backwards, but they say no, fourth and one. So they decide to just go for it here because I, I think it's just too much of a risk if you go down here and punt the football away, and then they, the score ends up being 21-3, the way that this defense is playing. English throws this one up here. Terrell Jones goes up for it, can't come up with it. So those deep balls, that have been a key part of the Seahawks' defense or offense, and right now the Packers are really defending it very well. And there's Noah Fant getting brought down at the one there. Third and one. Not the one. That would be nice if that was the one. But makes a third and one. And Kenneth Walker. Big run up here. And Jair Alexander going to come up hurt. He would miss a few plays. So here's Nate English looking. And he's just going to keep it himself this time. Keeps it himself. Runs out of bounds. Second and in inches. Thought that was a first down. These, uh, these sort of measurements are kind of odd this game. Kenneth Walker, he picks up the first down, so now third and ten. English looks, throws this one right here to Dwayne Eskridge. Fourth and four, so do you just kick the field goal here? And the Seahawks say, we're going to stay out, we're going to keep this offense on the field. Got to make something happen. Fourth and four. So English, looking at the defense, steps back, looking, stands in the pocket, and he's going to find a wide open DK Metcalf. You can't put Quay Walker on DK Metcalf. Quay Walker is an outstanding athlete, but he is not going to guard DK Metcalf out there. That's just a poor decision by Joe Barry in this Packers defense. So now that'll make it 10 to 14. Packers still leading. Aaron Rodgers, clean pocket, going to find Robert Tunyon. Picks up the first down, very easy right there. Now they come back again, first and 10. Rodgers steps back. Clean pocket, just shifts his feet a little bit. And there's Aaron Jones wide open. Not sure what happened there. Quandre Diggs brings him down finally. Jordan Brooks picked him up, but, you know, he's not as fast as Aaron Jones. Not too many guys are. First and 10, Rodgers just throws this one off platform. Going to find Robert Tunyon. And that is just 
Aaron Rodgers magic right there. What more can you say? First and goal, Rodgers pressured. And he's finally going to get sacked here to Chenna Nwosu who brings him down. Finally a bit of pressure on Aaron Rodgers. So here comes Rodgers in this offense again. They're just unrelenting. Here's Christian Watson. Going to gain a lot of that yardage back right there. Down up to the 11 now. Third and goal. Rodgers looking. Shotgun formation. Going to throw this one. Double coverage. That's going to get picked off. Trey Brown. What can Brown do for you? Get an interception. Trey Brown stealing that one away. I think Rodgers maybe should have put some air on that one. Thought Tanyan could go up and get it. But that was more of a line drive throw. And Trey Brown picked that one right off. So second and eight now. English looking. Throws this one up. Metcalf, can he make a play on it? Comes down with it, and he gets tackled right there. It's a shame the Seahawks only had one timeout right there because if they had two, maybe could have ran one more other play, then called the timeout instead. Going to have to just settle for the field goal here and make it a one-point game as they head into the half. So the Seahawks still in this game despite the bumpy start. Defense just needs to get a stop or two. And Rodgers just going to let it rip right there to Tyler Lockett in the middle of the field. No one there. So that's another first down for this Packers offense. Rodgers letting it rip again to Lockett again. Lockett just tearing him up right now. So now second and one. Rodgers steps back. Just quick throw right here. Romeo Dobbs. No one able to get to him. And Aaron Rodgers is on fire in this one. High snap this time. Rodgers looks, throws this one up. Quandre Dix can't make a play in the bowl. And Romeo Dubs comes up with it. First and goal. Six yards to go. Rodgers, quick throw, flips it right to Tunyon. There's a touchdown just like that. The Packers re-extend their lead. And it was just like nothing. It was like clockwork for the Packers right there. Aaron Rodgers, just a little flick of the wrist. Finds Robert Tunyon. And this Packers offense is on fire right now. So now English looking. He goes for it all here. Third and 11 trying to get the Metcalf. Maybe he should have took something underneath. But trying to get it all here. So third and eight. Can the Seahawks get a stop right now? And Rodgers just flips it to Romeo Dobbs. And Jamal Adams just didn't see it in enough time. And Dobbs comes up with the first down reception right there. So now first to 10. Roger steps back. Clean pocket. Has to f uh, step back a little bit. Going to find Tyler Lockett in that zone. Just found the hole in the zone coverage. And throws it right to him. First and 10 now. Here it is. Play action. Look. And there's Marco Estes with the sack. That'll make it second and 18. That's two sacks so far in the day of Rodgers. But... Just not getting enough pressure consistently. That's the real problem here. Rodgers picks up four on that one. So now third and 14. Rodgers looking. Throws this one up. And that's going to be caught. And that's Romeo Dobbs again. And he is tearing up Tariq Woolen right now. Woolen just cannot guard him. Rodgers flips this one to Tunyon. That's another catch and touchdown score for the Packers. That'll make it... 28 to 13. So the Seahawks offense, they need to get something going here quick here in the second half. It just throws this one up. Lucky that wasn't picked off. Fourth and seven. They have to go for it. I mean, you just you really have to. English on the run here just throws this one. That was almost picked off. And that'll set up the Packers at the 28 here. So now Rodgers throws this one right here to Christian Watson. And a season ago, you were questioning if this Packers team had enough pieces on offense. Now, like, do they have too many pieces on offense? You have Dobbs, you have Lockett, you have Watson, you have Tunyon, you have Aaron Jones. I mean, this offensive line has come together for this Packers team. And the offense now is just deadly here. Rodgers, this is going to be a keeper. Read option, Rodgers touchdown. And that might be your dagger right there. He's putting on the championship belt. I'll make it 35-13. to 13. We went into halftime. This game was... The Packers 14, Seahawks 13, and the Packers have just poured it on here in this third quarter. 21 unanswered. Now English going to find Metcalf deep play right there all the way down to the 24. So maybe that's the spark the Seahawks team needs. They're going to go quick hurry up here after that big catch from Metcalf. 
English with an audible here. Hot route possibly. English looking. And he's just going to keep this one. Runs it outside. Almost picks up the first down. That'll make it second and one here. So they're going to come back again on second and one. English looking. Navigating the pocket. And he's going to get sacked. Should have just thrown that one away. It's Rashawn Gary with the sack. That'll make it third and nine. So now third and nine. English throws this one up. Metcalf comes down with it on Eric Stokes. Burning Stokes right there. And Stokes is a great athlete. So maybe the Seahawks can get something going here. And met in English put that throw right where it needed to be. Right over the shoulder of the DB and receiver. So sec going to go for two points here. That'll make it 21 to 35. That'll make it a 14-point game. That's a hell of a deficit to try to overcome. Third and two. There's Tyler Lockett picking up the first down. And that's been the problem all game where they just cannot get this Packers offense off the field. So now first and ten. Rodgers, another quick throw here. Going to find Tunyon. That's another first down. I mean, this is just the problem here. They're not getting pressure. And they're not really getting, they're not getting stops. And now they can't tackle either. They've been on the field all day. And Aaron Jones... Gashing him right there for 10 and a first down. So now second and five. Rodgers throws this one. Quandre Diggs just can't get to the football. That should have been a pick. So now third and five. Rodgers looking. Rolls out of the pocket. Throws this one. And Romeo Dobbs going to come down with the football. Fourth and three. So that's technically a stop. You hold him to a field goal. But actually the Packers, they're going to go for this here. Fourth and three. Aaron Jones cuts it back outside. And Calvin Lewis comes up with the stop right there and they hold on fourth down so so now 35 21 a touchdown here makes it a seven point game i mean this would be a very improbable comeback nate english throws this one up and there's dk metcalf with the football and metcalf is gonna burn rasul douglas right there and now this is a game seahawks trail by a touchdown and DK Metcalf, he just got over the top of Rasul Douglas, and no one's going to catch him. He just turned on the burners right here. Andrew Amos trying to run him down. Devondre Campbell trying to run him down. So now second and ten. Can they get a stop? And that's not going to help right there. Romeo Dobbs again just cutting right through the defense right there. So now second and eleven. Roger steps back again. Has all day to throw. And there's just a wide open Tyler Lockett. Not sure what happened right there. And that is just not ideal. You needed a stop here. And at the very least, you're going to give up three. So now Rodgers throws this one right here to Christian Watson. And yeah, not great stuff here from this defense. First and goal. Aaron Jones runs this one right in for the touchdown. Al Woods couldn't bring him down. Touchdown Packers again. Now make it 42 to 28. Now with two minutes left. And let's take a look at this. He just ran right through the defense. Al Woods couldn't bring him down with an arm tackle. So tough stuff there. Second and 10. English here. I mean, you could still make something happen here. They're going for it all here. Metcalf can't come down with the football. Darnell Savage on the coverage. Third and 10 now. Shotgun formation. English going to throw this one right into the middle of that zone right there. Metcalf. I'll get to the other side of the 50. Now going to go no huddle here. English making some adjustments here. Looking at the defense. Trying to just find something here. Now English going to come back again here. Going to throw it. Going to find Noah Fant. Haven't called his name much today. Second and five now. English. Once again, sort of just calling it once you get to the line here. Steps back. Throws this one up here. Terrell Jones. He has it, and he drops it. That would have been a touchdown. 52 seconds left here. This is getting more and more improbable. Throws this one right here. Noah Fant comes up with it. Now they're going to call a timeout. At this point, you're going to need to just start heaving it, chucking it at the end zone. You're kind of out of time to sort of try to get down to the goal line. Noah Fant can't hold on to that one. That would have sort of cut the lead back down to seven. Now third and ten. English throws this one, and that's out of bounds. Too far in front of Metcalf, and here it is. Fourth and ten. Tire season comes down to this. Gotta have it. Metcalf can't haul that one in, and that is gonna do it. 
for the Seahawks season. Metcalf just couldn't get his body turned back around. And the Packers are going to head to the Super Bowl. They end the Seahawks' terrific run of a season they've had. 42-28. Aaron Rodgers, outside of that one interception, was absolutely perfect in this game. And the Seahawks' defense that has played so well for such a long stretch of the season kind of just crumbles and falls apart here in the final game of the season the NFC Championship they didn't hope they wanted it to be sort of that uh, not the final game of the season but it ended up being that Nate English this was a rough one 16 of 36 306 yards three touchdowns one interception relied so much on the deep ball all season long and just really couldn't get it going consistently in this game the Packers just were able to defend it really well and uh yeah uh, the rushing tech was the running game was actually good we just went away from it because like I said when you go down that many points in that third especially that third quarter where we just let up you know three straight touchdown drives 21 unanswered that's what cost us this game I mean you can't give up that many points and expect to win uh just can't do it. DK Metcalf, stud game. It's just a stud performance by him. Uh, eight receptions, 233 yards, three touchdowns, and not much else from anyone else. Just, uh, yeah, Terrell Jones had a couple drops. Noah Fant had a couple drops. And uh, a very disappointing end to the season. I thought there, when we cut it to seven, I thought, okay, we can... Maybe we can tie this thing up if we just get a stop and we, they just marched right back down the field again. So every time that we kind of got a little bit of momentum on our side, they would just go and score. Guys had a bunch of... That's not good when you see that many guys with 10-plus tackles. Uh, Trey Brown with an interception for us. Aaron Rodgers, 39-46, of 46, two touchdowns, one interception. Aaron Jones, 59 yards. Aaron And uh, three rushing touchdowns. I don't think we've given up that many rushing touchdowns at all this season. Um... Uh, that, that might that might be the most we've given up in a single game. And, uh, yeah. Receiving, Romeo Dubs, 11 receptions, 140 yards. Tyler Lockett, 9 receptions, 126 yards. Robert Tunyon, 8 receptions, 56 yards, with 2 touchdowns. Aaron Jones, 6 receptions, 71 yards. Christian Watson, 4 receptions and some yards there. So, yeah. So, Quandry Diggs and, uh, yeah, it's really weird. This sort of uh, scenario thing kind of treats it like we didn't just lose the NFC Championship game. It's kind of strange. You think they'd have championship game sort of moments like that? They don't for some reason. So our season ends there. Here's the Pro Bowl lineup. Nate English, quarterback one of, uh, makes the Pro Bowl there in his rookie season. And, uh, we'll look for some other Seahawks here. And, uh, Kenneth Walker, he makes the Pro Bowl. DK Metcalf makes the Pro Bowl. Terrell Jones makes the Pro Bowl. If we look through here, I don't think any of our linemen made the Pro Bowl. And uh, as we look through here, nope, none of our linemen made the Pro which is, I don't expect any of them to. Marco Stess, he makes the Pro Bowl. He had a great season. Uh, we look through here. Uchana Nwosu made the Pro Bowl. Uh, keep looking through here. None of our linebackers made it. I mean, technically, Nutrana Nwosu is a technically listed at linebacker, but Sean Murphy Bunting makes the Pro Bowl. Quandre Diggs makes the Pro Bowl. So we have a bunch of guys here in the Pro Bowl. We don't really care about the Pro Bowl. We wanted to go to the Super Bowl, and uh, that's not going to happen. Aaron Rodgers, named MVP of the league. That's his fifth. Uh, Nate English finished sixth in the voting. I believe that's how that's done. Uh, that's like the voting, I assume, right? Uh, so Rodgers, that's his fifth league MVP. Um, Coach of the year was uh, some guy at 6-11. and 11. Okay, we'll take a look here at these NFC ones. DK Metcalf, he was your offensive player of the year. Terrell Jones in there as well in the running. Uh, very nice there. Defensive player of the year, Uchenna Nwosu. I believe he had 24 and a half sacks. So he had a great season. Um, really came on this year, breakout year probably for him, secured a contract, uh, re-secured a contract extension for him. So offensive rookie of the year, 
goes to Terrell Jones, doesn't go to Nate English. I think the interceptions kind of hindered his chance at that award. Um, so he can't be throwing that many interceptions. So hopefully we can keep the interception number down um, next season. But uh, yeah, Nate English, Terrell Jones, that should have been like uh, co award winners. So Hayden Peterson in the running for defensive rookie of the year, but it ends up going to Marco Estes. He wins that award. Best quarterback goes to Aaron Rodgers. Nate English was in the top three of that, but you also see uh, one of the other quarterbacks in there as well in the draft class. Uh, running back Kenneth Walker, he'll probably never be able to really win that award for us because we just don't run enough. DK Metcalf was the best receiver, of course. And uh, Terrell Jones was in the running as well. Best offensive lineman. We did have someone... In, now, this is weird. We had Greg Van Rotten in here. He was a backup uh, for us, so I'm not really sure why. So Stone Foresight. He didn't play. Um, Marco Stess was in the running for best D lineman. Best linebacker goes to Chad Nwosu, which is strange because he's not really a linebacker. I mean, technically, he's a linebacker, but he's an edge player. You, you know what I'm saying. Sean Murphy Bunting was the best uh, defensive back in the NFC North. And our defensive back room still has some work to do. Because um, we just got chewed up in that game. And uh, kind of shows that we're still not at that level to maybe shut down a top-tier team with top-tier weapons like the Packers. Those guys have developed into a really good receiver. Okay, I cut off there. Those guys have developed into really good receivers, top-tier guys. Um, and they just absolutely... Uh, torched us in that game. I don't know what else to say. Chernan Wosu, he goes up to superstar developer uh, development, though. That's pretty nice. DK Metcalf going to get a uh, deep threat upgrade here. That's very nice. Uh, plus two release is pretty good, actually. I mean, his release is already really good, but getting that even better is going to be great. Terrell Jones, we're going to go deep threat on this as well. So let's see what he gets here. Plus two catch in traffic, plus one release. Route running goes up, and so does his catching. So that's pretty good. I would say 99 speed, 96 acceleration, catching. Short route's pretty low. We might have to work on that next season. Then Marco Estes, he gets an upgrade here. Just going to go run stopper again. Trying to get that block shed rating even higher. And it goes up plus one here and plus two tackles. So that is pretty good. I mean, there's some positive here. I'm not sure why it says hidden again. He, he uh, pretty sure we unlocked it. It was star development. Um, so 2023 season recap. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, they win another Super Bowl, 42 to 21. Super Bowl MVP Aaron Rodgers. I forgot. Yeah, the Giants won last year. Uh, so hopefully Aaron Rodgers retires and we don't have to deal with him next year. Um, or maybe we do have to deal with him next year. That's kind of the guy we have to go through. So little exit view here this is the roster as we kind of end the season nick elliott has superstar um does not have the ability to get a an ability uh, an ability slot just yet he's still a few overall points away it might be like one overall point away from getting an ability slot and defensively you see a lot of new yellow on here for our new superstar players uh quandre diggs i can't remember if jamal adams had x factor or not the game d didn't tell me that he lost x-factor depth so maybe he was that star and now gets up to superstar i can't really remember it's weird i can't remember that but marco Estes, he has superstar development i believe he earned this actually um from just the season he had so that's pretty big to have a key piece on our defensive line have superstar development uh, right now his is defensive rally i'm not sure if i'll keep it that way um we'll see um maybe you guys will tell me what are good uh ones to select for that uh, to select for defensive uh, linemen Sean Murphy Bunting, he gets superstar, so that's pretty big for us here in uh, strip special. It's not sure what uh, to pick here. Maybe mid zone KO. I'm not once again not 100% sure. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm sure some of you guys who are a little more knowledgeable about this stuff than I am uh, will tell me what I should put on these guys. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Quandre Diggs and Quandre Diggs, he did regress a little bit. But, you know, I thought maybe this was going to be Quandre Diggs last year here. I thought maybe we move him in the offseason. And he, you know, once again, loses some speed and loses a couple of those things. But 
he does have superstar dev and he was still good for us a lot of this season so i think quandry Diggs is the guy who is going to be back next year for us uh jamal this might be the last next season might be the last year of Diggs and jamal adams though as our safeties um it just has a cost saving measure but uh not 100 percent sure on that just yet once again that's a long way off from when i even have to make that decision but uh yeah so that is it for us the end of season two i'm sorry it took so long to get through the second season just you know lost motivation play the game for a little bit but kind of gonna power through the season two here for us and we'll try to get through season three a lot quicker so going into the off season we have 78 million dollars in cap and uh there's some big name players in that free agents class so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you liked watching it be sure to hit like be sure to hit subscribe and uh, have a Merry Christmas. Later.